This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MJ Marbella. We're in Manchester here at the Lowry Hotel. With me I have accomplished trainer John Pegg, professional fighter Sam Eggington. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Just getting ready to spar you. The challenge is on. Spark me or spar, spar. me. I've got the gloves in the boot. Yeah? Yeah, you've been asking for it, it's on. No, I just like to give you a little dig every time. Not a lot, you know, not like Golovkin or anything, just a little... Just a waking me up. Just like one of them. One of them. Can you speak to Sam. Leave me alone. He's a superstar though, isn't he? Sam, he you does take the limelight a bit. He does, doesn't he? He does like to get his head in the limelight a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Sam Eggington. I heard someone call you Eggington the other time. I had to put right. Because you obviously your name is Eggington. Most people do get it wrong. Do they really? Well, thanks for putting him right anyway. But I do. I got his, this his name. I don't won't tell you like it is. Even if you see on a piece of paper, it don't sound like Eggington. It Eggington. Doesn't. How would you spell Eggington? With a D and a G. Probably yeah. Yeah. Eggington. Thanks. This is a uh, a good fight from yeah. a fan point of view, but this is a tough fight for you. Yeah, it's a tough fight, but that's what I want. I mean, I've I've been boxing um, on anything John gives me. I've been doing home shows, um, obviously prize fighter, doing a couple of prize fighter. I'll jump at the chance of it and from the last from the last show, um in Man last show was Manchester as well against Who's it again? William Warburton. William Warburton. Um it was hard to get back in the gym because obviously I wanted I wanted the line but I wanted cameras and so I, I got back in the gym and we had another fight at the um, the villa. And then luckily enough they rang me back up and they said they wanted me back on the show. Barry Hearn really likes you. Me and Barry had a chat the other day as well on the phone. Oh, he rang me. He does. He, he just. I was in the office the other day. So he goes on his trip. I tell all these little stories about them, don't I? When they talk about you, I was just in the office. And he just went. My boy's fighting on on the bill on Manchester. I went. All oh, right. Who's that then? Sam Eggington. He went. So. You know, it's good, isn't it? He just randomly walked into the office and said that to me while I was sat down there. Yeah. But, um. Well, if Barry likes me, then he's giving you some good advice as well, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. He, we had a, um, he, ra he, he rang me the other day. Um, he rang me from the man from the matchroom headquarters. Yeah. Uh, I spoke to Barry for for about 15, 20 minutes. And he gave me some good advice. Um, and yeah, it was, yeah. I, like, I like Barry as well. Barry's got a, a nice bloke. Dead in Vassell. He's yeah. been out the ring for over a year after his defeat. His first defeat as a professional was Frankie Gavin. Oh, yeah. um, just spoke to him there. He's, Fit and rearing to go, obviously, but um, what kind of dent are you expecting to be in the ring? Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, he, he lost last time out, so I suppose he's, you could say he's coming to make a show and try and uh, bring him back to winning ways in good fashion. Might try, try and will win me out. Or he might come back, he had a broken jaw, he lost his first loss. And he might be a bit cautious, so I don't know. But as long as I do what I have to do, I do the training, um, it'll be a good fight. Either way. Bring in the peg. Go on. Go on. Let me get, I want to get some high definition in your face. Right there. That's better. What do you reckon, Sam? Yeah. Not, f not from underneath. No? <laughs> no, from just from the head. Um, we know what Sam is, don't we? Yep. Obviously, we'll fight literally anyone. Anyone. As game as they come. We got offered a couple of fights on this show and he says, any of them will do. And there was all tough fights, <laughs> you know. And he was like, yeah. one of them was at light middle. And he went, yep, no problem. Yeah, you know, fight anyone. And he's ready to fight. He's he was getting bored on our last show and he, he boxed a six rounder. Couldn't get him in training every session, he'd missed the other session. Now with this, he's switched on in the gym properly and he, he's got a fight. He's he, he's won the Midlands, he's boxed on TV, he is young, but you you gotta fight to the level you're at and the level he's at is a good level. Yeah, so absolutely. why not fight? Definitely. And if he wins this, he is right in the mix. Mm. It's a gamble, it's a tough fight, but if he wins it, he's right in the mix, in the middle, and every fight's a good fight after that. And that's his kind of, uh, that's what's building him up for it, basically. Mm. Well, September 13th, we shall see. Um, you was here bright and early, you two, today, weren't you? We've got to go and get the medicals done over in Liverpool now, oh, okay. so we're on road all day. Busy day for you two. All right, well, listen, Sam, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Cheers. Good luck with your medical and the rest of your training camp. <laughs> You just take care in life. It's on. Just wishing you well in life. It's on. I'm going to move up to your weight category. It's on. Move up to my weight category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you having a fucking laugh? Up to my weight category. Yeah. I've got to come down to yours, big boy. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Alright, John Pegg, Sam Eggs, thanks for talking to us. Cheers, mate.